step side bed fan i know a lot of people love these things hey you know whatever i like more of the the clean straight fleet side beds so in today's video i'm actually going to show you guys how to swap beds so to go from a, a step side to a fleet side or if you know frankly you want to go the other direction maybe you just watch this video in reverse i don't know uh we're going to pull this bed off and it's actually it's very very simple we're going to show you guys every step of the way but basically we got two bolts up here well two on each side two on each side and then two on each side and then another two so basically eight bolts total hold this bed on we got an electrical connector and stuff down there and then of course the fuel fill it's super easy and uh this will work if you're say you need to service the the fuel tank sender or if you just want to swap beds this will be a great quick little uh, how-to guide and side you know project we are going to make this truck look a lot better with the fleet side so anyway guys without further ado let's go ahead i'm gonna throw this thing up here on the lift real quick and uh, zip these bolts out well we got the old girl on the lift and uh guys the only reason i'm using the lift is really just to uh give you guys a little bit more light for this video this is something that you can completely do in your driveway with the floor jack and some jack stands lift not required but it'll make our job a little bit easier here and by the way I think we got all the good out of this tire if you uh if you miss the burnout competition with this truck after this video make sure you watch that guys we can just about see inside this tire got all the life out of it all right so first to start off with i wanted to show y'all where the bolt locations are so we've got four going from front to back on each side so what we've got here is this very front bracket right where the bed and the cab meet typically there would be a uh a bolt in that hole right there somebody's already decided to go ahead and take that out for us probably the same way on the other side i've had to guess uh the next bolt so this is going to be your front spring hanger so just above that just in front of the back wheel you've got another bolt right there and then we'll go ahead we'll move behind the tire and this you're going to want to kind of look at from the inside so what we've got here we've got a access hole in the frame that you can stick a socket through and you can see right there that bolt that's going to be your third bolt and then all the way at the back here right by like where the back bumper would be that's going to be your fourth bolt so you'll do of course one side then you'll do the other at that point we're going to come around and we've got some wiring harness connectors so we've got a license plate light and then another one of these connectors is going to be the actual uh, tail lights that you're going to disconnect and then last but not least we're going to go up here by the fuel fill and right here we can go ahead and we can take this big hose clamp off that's the rubber hose going down into the tank from the filler neck and then that smaller hose clamp right there, that's the vent. So just pull both of those off and kind of work the, the rubber boots off the lines. And then at that point, we can go ahead and uh, lift this bed off. Oh yeah, guys, one more thing I did want to show you. So the, uh, the pan on the back here, you can either take the brackets off at the frame or of course you can take them off right here. It might be easier just to go ahead and take the brackets off on the frame. So that's going to be the, the bumper bracket for that side over here. Well, typically we would have a bracket, but somebody has elected instead to go ahead and use a wire tie to the frame. Nice. All right, so bumper's off. Went ahead, disconnected the light for the license plate light for the spare tire hanger. So pulled this pin out and then this bar just kind of wiggles off. And then basically you just slide that out of there and that kind of completes the back. Now we're ready to go ahead and zip them, uh, them bed bolts out. All right, back bumper stuff's off, bed bolts are out, electrical connectors are off. Got license plate, this one, and that little ground that goes right there. Now we'll go ahead and we will work on disconnecting the filler neck. 
Well, y'all, everything's pretty much disconnected at this point. So what we're gonna do, there's a couple ways we can take this off. So if you got access to a lift, you can put the uh, post under the lift. The thing I don't like about that is sometimes it's got a tendency to try and bend up the bottom of the bed sides a little bit. I don't like that. So a couple other things you can do is, you know, four people can pull one of these things off. Or what we like to do is we got a big forklift back there. We just take the hook, the old sky hook, come in here and we take four straps crossed in the uh, in the tie down loops there. Pull it right here from the center. Nice and easy with the forklift. You can do it nice and controlled. She comes right off. And just like that, she's a shorty. So now is a prime opportunity to go ahead and take a pressure washer and go ahead and clean this up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, elect to do that. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, so let me go ahead, let me get the pressure washer out here. Make quick work of that. My God, these exhaust tips look even worse now. Might have to give them the old snip snip. tell you right now just a little bit of time with the pressure washer she really cleans up pretty good while I was in here washing I noticed that our third shock mount that the uh, SSZQ8 suspension comes with well the the mount well she's Bluetooth and let me tell you somebody has gone in here and put a fat nasty weld on her I think multiple times still didn't hold Hmm. One thing that I did notice when we were pulling the bed off is right here at the top of the exhaust, rubbing the bed pretty good. So you know what? Don't need this where we're going. And guys, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but in doing this, since you're going from a shorter step side to a longer fleet side, the filler neck is actually shorter or longer, depending on which bed you got. Obviously the, the step side shorter. So if you are going over to a fleet side bed or vice versa, just make sure you grab the corresponding filler neck. The old nighttime kind of creeped up on us there, so we went ahead and put it in the shop, and while we did that, went ahead and threw the old drag wheels on it. Looking pretty freaking sweet, guys. Also went ahead and gave the bed a quick bath. Gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. 400 bucks. Got us a nice, clean, straight, rust-free bed. And y'all see, I mean, it really don't take no time at all to do this. Those eight bolts, electrical connector, a ground connector back there, filler hose, some bumper brackets. Of course, this truck here, we actually <laughs> lucked out when we got the... Got the bed, it also had a roll pan hardy on it. So, guys, we're uh, we're in business. I know what you're thinking. You eyeballing these taillights, and you're like, man, those are absolutely hideous. And you're actually completely right. So, I went ahead. I've already got a, a new set of taillights on order. So, they'll be here shortly, and we'll just pretend that this, uh, this never happened. So, but guys, that's pretty much it there. Just wanted to show you all in case you all ever wanted to pull the bed off your truck if you needed to access the, the fuel tank for anything, or again, if you just wanted to go ahead and do the fleet side to step side or step side to fleet side, whatever the case may be. It's super easy. It covers all the whole S-series trucks, S10 and Sonoma. Also, if you've got a Silverado, frankly, it's the exact same thing. Of course, truck's just a little bit bigger, but uh, other than that, guys, it's pretty much it. So I gotta admit, the old S10, man, she's looking pretty freaking sweet. I could not wait to get this thing to the racetrack. And uh, Mandy's actually going to be taking this thing to the track here pretty soon to get a baseline on it because we're probably just going to go ahead and put like a 400 shot of nitrous on the old V6 before we do the LS spot. But 
Anyway, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much it there. Not bad at all. Very, very, very happy. And guys, I know these trucks are extremely popular. So if you've got an S-Series truck and you want to know anything about it or you want to see us do something to this thing that maybe you've always wanted to do to your truck, let me know. We're always taking suggestions. But in the meantime, guys, as always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.